This is Twit. Yesterday, we got official word from Apple that it will hold an event on September 9th. And although the event is expected to be a new iPhone announcement, the company didn't provide any more details than the tagline, wish we could say more. Recode reported on Wednesday that Apple would be also announcing a wearable at the event, widely reported to be some version of a wristband dubbed the iWatch. But today, the publication passed along a report from sources that say it won't arrive to market for a few months or even early 2015, which would miss the holiday season altogether. Apple declined to comment, of course, but we'll know one way or another in a couple of weeks. Earlier this week, we spoke with The Verge's Casey Newton, who published an internal document from car ride service Uber that detailed a campaign to recruit drivers from a rival ride-sharing service, Lyft. Today, Lyft tells The New York Times that in instances where Uber ambassadors take rides to recruit Lyft drivers, those Lyft drivers experience a considerable drop in pay, and in Orange County specifically, earnings fall to $18.60 an hour. That's a 48% drop in income. And Lyft says drivers in other areas are affected by the recruitment efforts as well. At issue is the recruitment process by Uber, which is on average a shorter ride than normal, resulting in a nominal fee for the Lyft driver. This takes away from a Lyft driver's ability to pick up actual passengers who are going to take longer rides inevitably. Uh, today, Lyft sent a note to its drivers describing a more aggressive approach by Lyft to deter Uber recruiters from disrupting Lyft's service and harming their hourly pay. And that, quote, our system can now quickly identify the bad apples, even with burner phones, and put an end to the negative impact on you. Reuters reports that Japan-based SoftBank and its U.S. mobile carrier Sprint will offer a Sony smartphone for the first time, citing sources with knowledge of the matter. The deal could benefit Sony's mobile division, which the company said last month was no longer expected to make a profit in the year ending next March, and has managed only a 2.1% share of the global uh, smartphone market in 2013, according to market research firm Gartner. In the U.S. market, the only carrier offering Sony handsets is number four mobile carrier T-Mobile, but that's going to change. Sony will also sell a soon-to-be-launched Xperia flagship phone in the United States via Sprint. Four sources familiar with the matter tell this to Reuters. And in Japan, SoftBank will make the phone available in time for the, for the winter holiday season. And yesterday, Samsung unveiled the Tizen-powered Gear S smartwatch that can make calls and go online without tethering to a smartphone and would include turn-by-turn -turn navigation provided by Nokia's Here mapping platform. Today, Nokia announced that Here uh, will be used on more Tizen smartphones and wearables, and a new licensing agreement with Samsung will put Here on Android for the first time in Galaxy-branded smartphones. Here will work in offline mode, just as it does on Windows Phone. And here for Android, will let you download entire countries and regions, much like TomTom Tom or OpenStreetMap powered alternatives. There's no word on whether here will arrive again for iPhones after it was pulled from the App Store last December. Now, back to the Gear S smartwatch for a moment. Today, Samsung announced that a Nike Plus running app will be preloaded on the wearable when it goes on sale this October. The Gear S will have a curved two-inch screen that will be used by the Nike Plus app for giving feedback while running or displaying Nike Fuel stats. An audio player will also be built in so a user can set their run to music with Bluetooth headphones. Now, earlier this year, Nike laid off most of the wearable team, their hardware team, responsible for the Fuel ban, saying that it instead planned to focus on Nike Plus software for multiple platforms. The company released a Nike Plus app for Android earlier this summer, Although there were there is no Android Wear support yet.